Hi, I'm Brenda Price of Stamping on the Plateau in Fairfield Glade, Tennessee. Today I'm going to show you a technique called tissue lamination. It comes from a Stamping Arts and Crafts magazine from the September-October edition in 2000. It was originally done years ago using just plain water. They suggested that you use the starch that you mix with water. I'm using it a little differently than that. I'm going to use spray starch. Now, I don't know about you, but I've had this spray starch can for many, many years. It's been stuck in my laundry room. It works fine for this technique, no matter how old it is. What you need is bleeding tissue paper. And if you get this at the art store, you probably will get bleeding. But if it says non-bleeding, then don't bother to try it because it won't blend like this does and it won't bleed. But make sure when you tear up your tissue paper that you get rough edges. The other thing I recommend to do is to use gloves because the tissue paper will dye your hands. I know that from experience. So put on some gloves. Shake your old spray starch or your new can if you happen to have some new. Spray your matte white cardstock and it will kind of foam up, so that's fine. And just start laying your tissue paper down. Make sure you overlap the edges. Get lots of different color. And every now and then you can take your foam brush and kind of tap it down because you'll have some edges that might stick up a little bit. You want everything to adhere as much as possible. Alright, when you're pretty much covered here, I spray it again just to get some more adherence to it. Tap, tap it down. It's already starting to stain. You can see that. And set this aside to dry and let it dry real well and don't use a heat gun to, to dry it because you want the colors to blend. As you can see from one that I did a few moments ago, it's still very wet but the colors have started to blend together and that's what you want. Here's one that's completely dry and you're, you're going to have a lot of these extra pieces that still have some color in it. Sometimes that may be usable on another card or even on, on this card. Here's the product that you really come away with. Both sides come through and I don't know if that's because of the use of the starch or not, but at least you could use either side. And here's an example of how to use that in a finished card. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoy this technique and revive it a little bit again. See you soon.